hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Christmas in July. So today I have something a little bit different. So far, um, the three layouts that I've completed have all been 12 by 12. So today I'm going to share some six by eight uh, layouts and even a four by six um, pocket card that I've created because today is all about presents. There's a section in my generic book that talks about gifts and presents, buying them, receiving them, making them, and that's what we're gonna be concentrating on today, um, and giving them. Um, so I've got um, a few six by eight pages that I really wanted to record, just some of the little gifts that I make that I love making, why I love making, and, and see where they're going to go. Now, um, in this section, now here's, you see the other day when I was talking to you about, um, in the end, doing a generic album, because every year it comes back to the same thing, and sometime I, sometimes I would record something twice that didn't maybe need to be recorded and at other times forget certain things like so this is something i recorded two years in a row which i mean it's cute the photos are adorable but i probably didn't need to record it two years in a row 2012 which was the first year that i actually tried a december documented and then 2013 which is all both of these are about santa's little helper as you can see, my little Chopin, who is ho so helpful around the, the house, particularly at Christmas, uh, he loves to help with the wrapping, um, to put up the decorations, to reorganize the cards, and to inspect the gifts. So here he is, right smack up there. I guess he's a lovely little, little paperweight. Um, of the, the gifts that we were wrapping at that point. And then you go, you see, the next year I pretty much did the same kind of thing. Although since I realized I had done it in 2012, I didn't actually journal. Um, and there, it's, uh, it's of course different photos, but basically all the same thing. So that's when I started thinking, okay, you know what? You just really just need to do a generic album. These two will stay in my album. But now the help with the wrapping the presents, my little elf helper there, that's recorded and done. Um, there is also a layout uh, about shopping and a few of the gifts that I received, which I will come and share with you a little later on in the month. So then I got onto, I had prepared this one page called Making the Presents. And I guess this was probably a Journal Your Christmas prompt in, in maybe 2013, 2014, I can't remember, or even a little bit later because this is the Christmas Magic Chamel collection. Uh, about the year I made some little notebooks for all of the team at the office because every year I do like to make just a little bit of a trinket gift that I put on the counter on the 24th because we work very, very hard around that time of the year. And there's my forever forever scrappy helper he's hilarious actually he if i get close to the scrap table up on he is down he goes and every once in a while if i'm not at the scrap table he will hop on there and meow and meow until i go even smack the light uh until i until i get over to my scrap table start scrapping and then plop he goes to bed so i guess i have the perfect perfect pet so these are older um, layouts so that were already done. So here is um, the compliments that, that I have done. This will go on the back here, um, which uh, is again all about. So it, it's a little bit the same philosophy, but here this one as opposed to just a picture of the presents themselves here is more of a picture of the process wherein i was actually preparing a layout for my sister from a little uh, from another mister so i've used some chamel uh paper here this is a fancy pants um paper and i just used a border strip here down the middle so it's a little bit 
sort of my 12 by 12 type go-to design adapted to a six by eight. Uh, I used my punch here to do a big circle uh, because I wanted to bring in sort of that mustardy color because I like it. So I matted my photo with it. Then I put uh, just the date over here since the circle here went a little bit with the wreaths, 2014. And I love making gifts and pages for family. It's time consuming, but worth it. And I do need to start early in the year. Like I need to start next month while I'm on holiday to get some pages done for this year. These are three lovely wood veneer that came in my uh, December daily kit from Christina last year, a little doily that I had in my bowl. This was also in the December daily. This was like a pre-cut little die cut that Christina sent us on this lovely um, gold. It's not really shimmery, but it does have a little bit of a sheen to it, I guess I would say. So there you go. That will go on the back of this. And then there will be, there is this four by six uh, page, which is, which is just a present that I made in 2015 for Martina. Same paper that I used here, it will go here. Uh, use that same little circle punch. It's a two inch circle punch. Fussy cut out one of the wreaths and just put, don't forget the tape. And I just put here for Martina so that I would remember who it, who it is from. And there's a little interactive element here that underneath shows it. It's one of those boxes. You take off the top and it all pops open. This was really a labor of love. I loved making it. This is very time consuming, but it was a lot, a lot of fun. And then there will be th two three by fours which will have record some of the layouts that I actually have done for my nephew, my sister from another mister, and my mom. And then to complete it all, my last six by eight page that I have done uh, this month is about, again, some presents that I, presents that I make to just tuck into Christmas cards, hang with the tag, or for the team at work. So I love having little tiny ones that I can stick. In fact, um, last year in 2018, these are a lot of the bookmarks that I had made and that I sent along with many of my Christmas cards to a lot of my friends in Europe and to a lot of my scrappy friends. Um, I had made these a few years ago for the team at work very, very early on. And then I suddenly realized that one, I had already done that kind of present for the team. And two, uh, in my team at work, they're all very young. Uh, nobody reads books anymore, one or two. I, I did give a couple to my grandnieces because my, my eldest grandniece is a bookworm, just like me. She loves reading and she does read physical books. But most of the other people in my life have moved on to, I guess, Kindles and things. And I guess bookmarks aren't as useful. So I sent them in some lovely Christmas cards to some people that I knew would appreciate them a little bit more. This is some Stampin' Up! paper. I cut it to 6x8. This is the B-side, just a strip. Then I overlapped the photos top and bottom and offset them to give me a natural little area of embellishment here. Two little books from a Paige Evans uh, chipboard. These are also from a Paige Evans chipboard sheet. Love this, I love a little wood veneer that I received from Christina. A couple of other little wood veneer that I had in my desk. And then just a quick word sticker. This was so fun, great, this little um, tab. And I put this little Vicky Booten puppy sticker there to just hide the hole because I didn't really feel like putting twine, although I could have to mimic the twine in the photos. That could have been smart. Anyway, there you have it. So go on down below to see the next person on today's hop. I hope you're finding some inspiration. Again, if you are making some Christmas projects, tag us. If you're in the Mercy Tiara 27 day group, tag me, post it in the group. And um, I hope you're staying cool. We've got a little bit of a heat wave, not as bad as last year, not as bad as Europe. So I'm not complaining. And I will see you again soon with another Christmas layout. Thanks for being here. Bye.